I've got a piece of scrap poplar that I'm going to use for the roof. So the first thing I need to do is create a straight edge on one side and then we'll cut it the rough width at the table saw. I adjusted my bevel gauge to 30 degrees. Now I'm just going to tilt my table saw blade to match the bevel gauge. So now I'm just going to cross cut both roof sides to length. So for the two side pieces to make up the roof, in order to get that angle, I need to set my miter gauge to 30 degrees. So for this last cut for this side component, I just measured this distance on this last cut we just made using our miter gauge, and I'm gonna transfer it over to this side. So now I'll just draw a line between that mark and the far corner. So in order to make this cut, I'm gonna use my bandsaw, and I'm gonna stay close to the line, and then we'll clean it up with a hand plane. So in order to join these two halves of this roof together, I'm going to use a spline in between. And in order to make the groove for the spline, I'm going to use my tilting router table fence. And if you'd like plans, visit my website. Now I'm just going to bevel each outside edge of each side of the roof. So now it's time for some assembly. Remember Norm used to always say that? So instead of using a spline down the center, I'm just going to use a few biscuits. I'm going to glue them in with an exterior grade wood glue, and I'm going to reinforce the sides with a few nails. Next I need to work on the rails that go all the way around the base of the feeder. These will also hold the perch which the birds will stand on. For the stock that makes up the two longer rails, I taped them together and I traced out a nice gentle curve. And I'll just cut it out with bandsaw and then I'll fine tune it with the uh, sander. Next I'm going to work on the uprights which are going to hold the plexiglass and the first thing I need to do is nip off each corner at the top of each upright so that it will fit into the roof nicely. Now that I made both uprights angled I just need to make a kerf, one on each side to receive the plexiglass. So the uprights will get attached to the front and back rails with just a little bit of exterior gray glue and some nails. Now I'm just going to try to cut out the plexiglass to go inside the bird feeder without getting too much chip out. Let's see how it goes. So that the plexiglass doesn't go all the way down to the bottom when it's inserted, I'm going to glue in these little wooden spacers down towards the bottom of the uprights. Next I just need to use a Forstner bit to drill a couple holes in the top so that the chain can go through. So yeah, so I painted my first garage woodworks project. I think it came out looking pretty cool. So all I gotta do now is attach the chain and we can hang this thing up and put in some bird seed. Well, I really hope you guys liked this week's project. It was really fun to build. And if you'd like to download the SketchUp file, you can click on this link over here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page, and you can stay up to date with everything Garage Woodworks. Thanks for watching, guys. For the stock that makes up the two longer rails, I take them to...